In today's episode, we will discuss why king cobra and other snakes don't have legs. Why is it so? There are many reasons behind this. So, let's find out what they are. But before beginning our discussion, please take a moment to subscribe to my channel so that you won't miss any updates on new videos. Snakes are fascinating creatures that have evolved over millions of years to become highly successful predators and occupy diverse habitats across the globe. One of the most striking features of snakes is their lack of limbs, which sets them apart from most other vertebrates. The absence of legs may seem like a disadvantage, but it actually provides numerous advantages that help snakes thrive in their ecosystems. In this video, we will explore several reasons why snakes evolved to be legless and how this adaptation has contributed to their success as a species. Number 1. Evolutionary Adaptation the most widely accepted theory to explain why snakes do not have legs is the idea that they evolved from lizard-like ancestors that did have limbs. According to this theory, certain ancestral populations adapted to their environment by elongating their bodies and losing their limbs. This process is thought to have occurred gradually over millions of years as natural selection favored individuals with traits that were beneficial for their mode of locomotion and hunting. For example, a longer, slimmer body may have provided an advantage for moving through long grass or burrowing underground, while the loss of limbs may have reduced energy expenditure during locomotion. The theory is supported by fossil evidence that shows a transition from lizard-like ancestors to early snakes with reduced limbs. The fossil record also indicates that snakes have been on Earth for at least 66 million years with some estimates suggesting they may have first appeared as early as 100 million years ago. This means that snakes have had plenty of time to evolve and adapt to their environment without the need for limbs. Number 2. Conservation of Energy The conservation of energy is another reason why snakes don't have legs. Having no legs means that their body is streamlined, which makes it easier for them to move through different terrains such as grass, sand, and water. A snake's body is elongated and flexible, which allows it to move in a fluid motion that minimizes energy expenditure. This is especially advantageous when traveling long distances or chasing prey. For example, a snake's ability to move through tall grasses without expending much energy allows it to conserve its resources for hunting or finding a suitable place to lay its eggs. Similarly, their streamlined shape helps them swim efficiently in water, which is important for aquatic or semi-aquatic species. By reducing the amount of energy needed to move around, snakes can travel further, hunt more frequently, and ultimately survive better in their environment. Number 3. Enhanced Burrowing Ability Many snakes are excellent burrowers, and their lack of legs is an adaptation that enhances their ability to dig through soil and vegetation. A snake's elongated body allows it to move through tight spaces, and its flexible spine enables it to squeeze through narrow burrows or dense underbrush. Additionally, some snakes have flattened heads that help them push through the soil, while others have scales that are adapted for digging. This combination of features makes it possible for snakes to create or find shelter in underground burrows or in dense vegetation. Burrowing is important for snakes because it allows them to escape from predators, regulate their body temperature, and conserve energy. It also provides a safe place for giving birth and laying eggs. By being able to burrow efficiently, snakes can take advantage of more habitats and resources, ultimately increasing their chances of survival. No. 4. Different Locomotion Methods Snakes have evolved several different forms of locomotion that do not require legs, such as lateral undulation, sidewinding, and concertina movement. Lateral undulation is the most common form of locomotion in snakes and involves side-to-side -side movements of the body to propel them forward. Sidewinding is used primarily by desert-dwelling snakes and involves a unique movement where the snake throws its body into a series of S-shaped curves. Concertina movement is used by snakes that move through narrow spaces and involves expanding and contracting different parts of the body to move forward. These different methods of locomotion allow snakes to move effectively on land, in water, and in trees without the need for legs. 
For example, lateral undulation is well suited for movement on flat surfaces, while side winding is ideal for traversing loose or sandy terrain. Concertina movement is useful for navigating through tight spaces such as burrows or dense vegetation. By employing these various forms of locomotion, snakes can access a wide range of habitats and resources that would otherwise be out of reach. Number 5. Predatory Advantages Many snakes are predatory animals, and their lack of legs provides them with several advantages when it comes to hunting down prey. A legless body allows for greater flexibility and maneuverability, making it easier for snakes to strike and subdue their prey. Snakes are often ambush predators, relying on their ability to strike quickly and with accuracy. Their legless bodies enable them to strike with greater speed and precision, catching their prey off guard. Additionally, snakes can squeeze through small openings to get closer to their prey, such as between rocks or in tight burrows. This ability to get close to their prey without being detected increases their chances of a successful hunt. Furthermore, snakes can apply pressure to their prey using their muscular bodies without the need to lift their body off the ground. This is particularly useful when constricting prey or delivering a venomous bite. For example, a constrictor snake squeezes its prey until it suffocates, while a venomous snake injects its venom through hollow fangs. Overall, the legless body of a snake provides significant advantages for hunting, allowing them to be more efficient and successful predators in their ecosystem. Apart from these five points, there are many more factors that might be responsible for the evolution of limblessness in snakes. Some researchers suggest that the loss of limbs may have been a direct adaptation to a particular environment or lifestyle. For example, Snakes that specialize in climbing may have lost their legs to reduce weight and increase maneuverability. On the other hand, aquatic snakes may have evolved from terrestrial ancestors and lost their limbs as an adaptation to life in the water. The absence of limbs may also be related to the development of other adaptations, such as the ability to produce venom. Venomous snakes have specialized glands that produce toxins which they use to immobilize their prey or defend themselves. The evolution of venom may have been a driving force behind the loss of limbs, as the two adaptations may have been linked in some way. However, it's important to note that the relationship between venom and limblessness is complex and not fully understood. While many venomous snakes are limbless, not all limbless snakes are venomous suggesting that these adaptations may have evolved independently in different lineages. The absence of limbs in snakes is a remarkable adaptation that has allowed them to thrive in a variety of habitats and become highly successful predators. While the exact mechanisms and selective pressures that led to the loss of limbs are still being investigated, it's clear that this adaptation has provided snakes with numerous advantages. From increased maneuverability to enhanced burrowing abilities, Snakes have evolved to utilize their legless bodies in a variety of ways. As we continue to learn more about the adaptations and evolutionary history of snakes, we can appreciate the incredible diversity and resilience of life on Earth. Whether slithering through the underbrush or swimming through the water, snakes are a testament to the power of evolution and the adaptability of life. So friends, these are the main factors that help snakes to survive on Earth. If you like this information, please hit the like button below the video and share this information with your friends. Also, if you have any queries or questions regarding this topic, then please comment below. Thanks for watching.